Three years ago, a military transport aircraft of the armed forces of Ukraine went in for landing over the Lugansk airport around 1 a.m. On that day, 49 Ukrainian heroes lost their lives. The plane was shot down with portable anti-aircraft missile systems by pro-Russian militants. They had only two kilometers left until they reached the runway. 49 people died, 40 of our guys from the 25th Brigade and nine crew members. Today, we are holding an action in memory of them. Let everybody know that they have not been forgotten. People gathered on Peshahodny Bridge in Kiev to honor the memory of the dead. 49 flashlights, for the number of victims of the tragedy, flew up into the sky. Then a military parachute was unfolded above the Dnieper. Alex was a participant of the activity. His best friend died in that catastrophe. My first question was, why did I not fly on that plane? It happened that one of our platoons was a little behind. The others went to the exercises and then could not return to us because the way was blocked by the militants. So they had to return by plane. Almost three years later, March 2017, the verdict was given on Viktor Nazarov. At the time of the tragedy, he was the head of the anti-terrorist operation headquarters and gave permission for the fatal flight. He was sentenced to seven years in prison for his incompetence. Additionally, litigation in absentia began over the leader of the so-called Luhansk People's Republic, Igor Plotnitsky, and the two commanders of Russian militant forces. They are accused of organizing a terrorist attack.